Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. A uh, couple news. <laughs> I started sleeping less. And somebody suggested to me basically to try out not sleeping to see how it's gonna affect me, how it's gonna affect my body, how it's gonna affect my consciousness. So I did an experiment a couple days ago. Um, I did not sleep for 30 plus hours. I think it was like 32 hours. Then I fell asleep for like half an hour. And then I didn't sleep for another like five hours. But it was an interesting experience from which I learned that, you know, it's not the end of the world not to get as much sleep as we've been told all of our lives and actually if you look at kids even like when kids are first born i still remember how my daughter went through like when they're first born they sleep like 18 hours a day but then it's less and less and less and less and you know if things progress technically at one point some people can get away with like an hour of sleep a day so what happened uh, when I did not sleep? Well, I had a lot of free time because uh, usually we sleep for like eight hours, nine hours. I sleep for about six hours. So when I did not sleep, it added six hours to my day. And you're like just sitting there and you're like, what to do, what to do, what to accomplish, what to do with all of this free time. And I actually was able to finish one of my books. Uh, I finished the book of Velis, which I started way over a year ago. I don't know why I dragged it on for so long. So I finally was able to finish it. I published it yesterday. So I basically had two days off from my job where I work 10 hours a day. I actually worked 12 hours today for zero to no pay. And uh, those two days off seemed like three or four days off to me because I uh, slept very little. So like my first day I decided not to sleep and uh, worked on the book most of the night. The next morning I went out and flew my drones, had a blast, the weather was great. And I worked on my book some more, got so much done, finally published the book, uh, did some stuff for the shop, and it was great. And right now it's, uh, today I work 12 hours, and usually, you know, like when I would come back um, home after 10 hours of work, I would be like so, so bummed out that, uh, you know, all I have time for is eat go to bed wake up and go back to work again to work for like i said in the previous video for one dollar an hour it sucks but it's something i have to do right now and i talked with my boss because i mean until i get a promotion if i will get it uh i'll best i'm basically like donating my free time because i don't make any money off this job but uh, I'm trapped in this cycle. Work, sleep, eat, work, sleep, eat, work, sleep, eat. It goes exactly like that. So now I just came home and I'm like, I'm not going to go to sleep right now. I got so much free time. I can sleep for an hour and I should be good to go for the next day. So I guess when you stop sleeping, you discover you have like an entirely new life to you. And uh, right now I'm working on another book this is going to be so the book of Velius is book three of the ancestral way series right now the book i'm working on it's going to be book four of ancestral way series and it's just like some folklore uh myth and legends of ukraine so that's going to be book four book five guess what the favorite is back i'm going to put together another volume of uh slavic uh creatures and spirits so i'm gonna go through uh some old texts 
find the descriptions, find like all of the ancient creatures and spirits of uh, Slavic mythology and write a book describing all those. So it should be a lot of fun. And right now, you know, it's like it's one o'clock in the morning. Uh, I can't sleep any longer than 9 a.m., but I think I'm gonna try to push that barrier beyond like stay up until like 4 or 5 a.m., hopefully 5 a.m., and then fall asleep. I'll tell you why because. And it's the main reason, and that's actually what I got ex to experience on myself when I went 30 hours without sleep, is because parasites, and every human has parasites, parasites are most active between, as I came to learn, 1 a.m. and 5 a.m. Because when I did my thing without sleep, you will not believe the clans, the natural clans I went through uh, after 24 hours of non-sleep. So uh, I stopped sleeping at 7 a.m. and 7 a.m. the next morning, I just had, a, for the lack of the better words, just like a shit storm. It wasn't like diarrhea or anything, It was, no, but everything came out and it was just like the biggest clans I had in years. Like my uh, digestive in intestinal tract, whatever it's called, it was clean. I mean, there was nothing in it. It was probably like pure. So you go through a cleanse, your body just repels everything that's unnecessary. Uh, so I believe like lack of sleep is that actually helps you fight parasites because according to even many uh, doctors in the field, parasites are most active when you sleep. So if you don't sleep, they can't actually become active. So they starve and they die. Now many people will say that like, well, you need sleep because your brain rests when you sleep. No, your brain doesn't rest. Your brain is always working. If you hook yourself up to a machine, you will see that your brain is constantly functioning. It's just uh, the parasites are controlling your brain and your body while you sleep. But when you're awake, you're in control. So uh, I did more research on the subject and it actually I came to find out that most geniuses slept very little and uh, our ancestors actually slept very little. It wasn't until very recently, maybe a century or two in the past, that we began to sleep according according to a specific schedule, like sleeping eight hours a day or nine hours a day. And uh, so I'll see what happens. I mean, uh, I'll keep you guys posted. I want to come out to where I sleep like... Because right now, I actually, naturally, without me even trying, in the last five years, I went from sleeping nine hours a day to naturally waking up after about five or six hours of sleep. So now I, I want to push the envelope and sleep no more than three, four hours a day and see how that helps me. Because if I get, like if the benefit I get out of it is the ability to write books like four or five hours a day, that's much better than writing like one hour a day. So I can actually publish more books, share more wisdom, share more information, share more stories with my readers. And uh, I would actually like that. And uh, I would get more accomplished. So I will keep you guys posted to exactly what's going on with that. Maybe I'll just try it. It's not going to work. I'll be like, hey, try this whole no sleep thing did not work out for me and uh, I decided to move on but hey it's one of those things it's no there is no harm in trying and you can always quit at any time so thank you guys for watching if you like the vid give it a like uh, leave a comment sub make sure you're subscribed make sure the little bell is turned on and uh, 
I'll let you guys know how it works out because uh, next time I'm actually what I'm gonna do next time is about 36 hours of no sleep together with a dry fast so no food no water and no sleep and see how it affects my consciousness and uh, I will tell you guys all about it so it's, it should be a very interesting video